Okay, so hello and welcome back. Um, today we're going to be talking about SnapTap. More specifically, SnapTap on the Razer Huntsman keyboard. With the firmware got updated with version 3 to put the SnapTap on there. And it's supposed to be the only keyboard you're able to use it on. But we'll show you how to use it on any keyboard. And then what games it works with and whatnot. So, let's hop right into SnapTap. Okay, so let's get into SnapTap and what exactly it is. So usually when you push two keys at the same time, they kind of cancel each other out and you can't use them. What SnapTap does is it allows you to press one key, like your A key, and while you're pressing that, and, and then you press your D key instead of canceling both out and you don't move any longer, it automatically goes to the second key. So if you're doing like micro movements, like A and D, you can actually not go with A, D, A, D, A, D, A, D. You can actually just press A and then just go with D. So it makes it a little bit better. So they describe it as, with a standard gaming keyboard, in any instance, there are two opposing directions are detected. No movement is registered. This causes the character to stop moving and remain stationary for, long, for as long as the two keys remain actuated. For any one direction to be registered, the other key must first be released. With snap tap mode on, in any instance where two opposing directions are detected, it will register the last input as the priority. This means your character will no longer stop moving in the heat of battle when two opposing directional keys are pressed. Instead, you can now change direction instantly without having to release the previous key. We recommend using SnapTap together with Rapid Trigger Mode, blah, blah, blah. This is the Razer's spiel for using their software. We'll get into that here in just a second. But here's the difference. If you look right here on the left-hand side, this is SnapTap off. It just kind of, you have to do one or the other and it stops moving. And then with snap tap on, you don't really have to. But we'll get into showing you what, it, what and how it works here in just a second. So we'll go ahead and go into Razer Synapse and show you how to turn this on and off. Okay, so here we are in the Synapse software. We're going to go to keyboard. And then if you go to actuation right here, you can see that snap tap is on. You can turn it on and off. You can toggle it by function key and left shift. And then you can assign these keys. I don't know why you would want to assign them to anything else besides A and D, but you can assign them. You just click on this green button and then change it. And this is just, this is just with Razer. Now they told themselves as the only one having this and being able to use this on only their keyboards. Nobody wants to spend 219 for the TKL one, which is the one that I have right here, and $250 for one for the full keyboard. Uh, there is a way you can get this to work on other keyboards, but it's not with this software. We'll get, that in, get into that here in just a second. But that is, that is the software. And if we load up a specific game, Oh, like Valorant, we'll go into Valorant and we'll show you what exactly it does when you turn it on and turn it off. Okay, so here we are in the range inside of Valorant. And just to show you, all right, we got Snap Tap off. We'll hop back into Valorant. Let's play with anyone. Okay, so if we press A, we move to the left, right? If we press D, it stops. And if we release, then it starts registering D again, right? But if we press them at the same time, nothing. So to do like a micro movement, you have to use both keys, right? If you hit that D key, it stops. Now we'll, put, we'll turn snap tap on. Turn it on. Okay, so now we've got snap tap turned on. We're gonna go ahead and move to the left and then hit D. You notice it starts moving and then we release D. So you just have to press one key now instead of, I mean, you can still do the A and D if you want, but this is a little bit easier. So that's snap tap. And I, the keyboard has this installed on the firmware. It's part of the firmware. So you don't have to worry about running a so software on the, on the back end, it's, it's just, on and off. This works on just about every game that I've tried so far. Uh, Counter-Strike, Valorant, obviously, Call of Duty, Fortnite, Apex, all of the first-person shooter games it works on, uh, Battlefield. 
So that is that. And since it comes with installed, or since it is on the firmware and it's part of the game, it just works. So let's get into not having this keyboard and how to make it work. Okay, so let's for instance say that you have another keyboard and you don't have the Huntsman version three and you want to use be able to use this on any of your keyboards. Let's say that you have the Rocket Vulcan, right? Full keyboard, doesn't have the snap tap on and you want to use it. You're like, yeah, I think this is a really good idea, you know, because keyboards aren't really that all that in innovative and they don't come with new stuff. I mean, it's a keyboard, right? So you want to be able to use it and you don't want to spend the $219 or $250 on the, another keyboard. But you have a keyboard, uh, maybe, you, maybe you have the Logitech K55 or, or the Corsair K55 like this one right here. You want to be able to use it. So let's go ahead and plug this keyboard up and I'll show you how to make this work. And all the links to this are going to be in the description below. So just remember that if you want to go ahead and try this out, the links to those will be in the description. Let's go ahead and plug this in really quick. Just to show you that it's on. It's on. And we're going to move this Huntsman out of the way. So we're, we don't have to worry about this. We'll just go ahead and unplug it. Just to show you. It's off. And we're going to set it right here. And we'll put the rocket one right here. So let's uh, go to where we have to get this, and I'll show you how to install it. it. It's really simple, but again, yeah, links in the description. Let's hop into that. Okay, as you can see, I've got my keyboard right here, uh, the Rocket Vulcan Pro, optical keyboard, whatnot. It's a nice keyboard. So. To get this going, we're going to need to go to GitHub and get Snap Keys, which is the name of it. So here it is, right here, Snap Key. Does the same thing, and they even say it, uh, holding both keys simultaneously prevents your character from moving with Snap Key. Snap Key automatically releases the previous held key when a new key is pressed and held down the A and D. It's, it defaults to the A and D key, like, like the Snap Key on the Razer keyboard did. And it even say, Snap Key offers a simple and intuitive alternative to Razer Snap Tap function, making it accessible across all keyboards. Um, now, the developer in here did all the work for you. If you want to go ahead and, you know, support these guys, links in the description, and I'm, I'm sure they've got some way that you can, you can support them. So, we're going to go ahead and download this. You can do download Snap Key from GitHub right here. Take you to this page. And then on the top one, you've got three options. You've got the source code. This is a, a Linux, the tar, uh, the source code for the zip. If you want to do some stuff uh, programming by yourself, or you can just do snapkeys.zip. We're going to do snapkeys.zip. As you can see, it says two for me, may say one for you, or may not have a number, but I already downloaded this, but I'm just going to go through and show you. Right here. You want to extract all of this stuff. So I already did that, but if you... Right click it, extract all, and we're just gonna extract it to the desktop or wherever you want to. But for simplicity's sake, we're gonna extract it to the desktop. There we go. Should have made a folder for that, but we'll do that right now. All right, so there's all of them in one folder. So you've got a readme in here. If you wanna do some stuff with it, this is the readme for it. And we'll just double click on snap key. If you have a Windows Defender or a firewall on there, it will say, your PC may be at risk. It's not. It's just an unknown executable. We're going to say run anyway. And you'll think it doesn't do anything, but it does. If you go into your taskbar at the bottom, you should see this icon right here. Let me, let me move out of the way here. If you look at right here where, I'm, where my mouse is at, right here, you'll see this little icon, right? That just means it's on. And you can also go into the readme and it'll tell you how to do it. Config file is right here. If we want to open up the config file, open it with notepad, and it says right now it's key 65 or A and D. Okay, so let's hop back into Valorant and show you that this also works. All right, here we are in the practice range on Valorant again. In a range. Okay, so we move to the left and then hit that D key, re right? This is how you would normally do it. A key, hit the D key, release. So same thing, snap keys on this. So there you go. 
snap key for any keyboard. And there you have it, easy enough. Snap keys for everybody. Um, if you found the video helpful, you can do that whole you know YouTube like, subscribe, notification thing. And if you have any questions, as always, comment section below, or you can hit the Discord, again, all in the description below. And yeah, snap keys for everyone, not just the Razer Huntsman keyboard right there. You guys have a nice day. We'll see you on the next one.